I watch the legislature so you don't have to, and when I'm busy watching the legislature, sometimes I see some really terrible NDP behavior that somehow manages to escape the mainstream media's scrutiny. It's funny how that works. Now, some of this latest bad behavior happened while the legislature was debating Bill 34. You might not know about Bill 34, but it is an utter horror show for Alberta taxpayers. It extends unlimited credit to the electricity balancing pool as a way to fix the utter mess the NDP have made to the electricity system here. The carbon tax is causing electricity retailers to walk away from their money losing contracts, sending them back to the balancing pool. So the balancing pool has gone from holding a balance of $709 million to losing $70 million every month as the NDP ineptocrats tinker with an electricity system they don't understand and Albertans are on the hook for all of it. So in the debate in the legislature, Wildrose MLA and Electricity and Renewables critic Don McIntyre was trying to explain to the NDP who clearly don't understand how money works just how Albertans are being screwed by the mess the NDP have made. Now pay attention to what is shouted at Don McIntyre from across the legislature. Here. Do you, does the honourable member think that the consumers and the ratepayers and the taxpayers are three different people? It matters not how you stick it to them, you are sticking it to them. If you're not sticking it to them on their electric bill, you're sticking it to them as a ratepayer or you're sticking it to them as a taxpayer. But one way or the other, member, you're sticking it to Albertans. There's only one person in Alberta that pays the bill. Did you hear that? That's Marlon Schmidt, the NDP MLA for Edmonton Gold Bar. He's also the Minister of Advanced Education and he's acting like a child, telling Don McIntyre where he can stick his concern for Alberta ratepayers. That's how awful these NDP are. And do you know what else? Schmidt then ran out of the sitting of the legislature after that, like a total coward. But where were the media? Where were they while Marlon Schmidt said something so rude and so stupid? Well. If it's not a Tory, it is not a story. The media, while well, they were too busy smearing all of our rally goers, unemployed Albertans, and farmers as sexist, racist bigots over a 20 second chant of lock her up. Now, maybe the media should get to work holding the government to account to the people instead of holding the people to account to Rachel Notley. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. <laughs> I'm fighting Rachel Notley's carbon tax till the bitter end. Go to StopTheCarbonTax.com and sign our petition.